Hey everyone, welcome to J Lake 3D. So today we're gonna draw a box and we're gonna show you how to make lips to it because we opened up a new Discord channel or server uh, and we had one of the members ask, how do I make lips for a box project? So we have here a box. Let's make it 100 millimeters high and uh, tools extrude to make the lid. So let's make that 20 millimeters and we are going to make that as a new body. And we wanna move that up by 50 so we remember how we did that. All right, next we're going to shell this body and the lid. Let's do by two millimeters. That's the thickness of the box at this current stage. Uh, let's actually make it four, just a little bit thicker since it's a big box. All right, now, that we have our box and lid, how do we add a lip? Well, the easiest way is to tools offset. And in this case, we actually wanna make it waterproof. All right, let's go ahead and offset this by one millimeter, offset this by one millimeter, and we're going to extrude those down by pulling down the arrow, let's say by two millimeters. All right, and also, the thing is that we want to 3D print this. So what we need to do in the first case is lower this by 50 millimeters. Or since we lowered it by two millimeters, you can see down here, we can do 52. tools subtract from the lid the box and we go up by 52 again and as you can see we have there a channel so now we have a waterproof sealed box and if you want to put an actual rubber seal you just simply lower this by a couple mil and you add a seal on top of that as a new body so for example tools extrude as a new body and you have your seal right but to make this fit now for 3d printing what we need to do is to make some tolerances so we tools offset again this by 0.1 in this case because typically for 3d printing 0.2 is a good tolerance so if we do 0.1 on each side then we lower them by two millimeters and we also, let's just select the whole thing and do a chamfer. Let's go to where the arrow is so we can see better. So we're going to chamfer this by 0.5. And what I like to do also after we hide the sketch is to fill it as well on the bottom edge here. so that it's even smoother. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and select both edges to make sure we get it all. And we're gonna do one mil on that. So now we have ensured that not only do we have this seal here or gasket, whatever you wanna call it, but it will also fit because of the tolerance and because it's a smooth edge. So, and same thing here if you want, if for example, you're not happy with how tight it is, uh, you can always add that or you can make it more loose by filleting this side as well. So that's up to you. But basically, now let's uh, change the color just so we can see what's going on. Let's make this white at 50% transparency and make this red at 50% transparency. And if we go back to 3D modeling and lower this, we can see now that it has a sealed box with lips that will keep your papers, cards, etc. dry. So just things that you can do after you finish your main box you can fill it, it, you can make it look better in any way you want, any shape or form. 
But this is a good starting point for you guys to understand how to make a lip for your box. So I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to go sleep. Good night, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Here at JLake 3 d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.